Um, yeah, just start thoughts on tonight's crazy game. You know, it was crazy, and I, you know, I, I, w I heard you, you guys chit-chatting there, and, and we didn't really try to slow it down. We just wanted to execute because every game is going to be a little bit different, and in this process, you know, I, I don't think we can, we can't incorporate the thought of outscoring all of our opponents, but there's nights where you have to when they're really good. I thought our defense was fairly solid, and I thought our offense was just a little bit better tonight. In, in our first half, obviously, we needed all the points we could get. Uh, that's a high-powered offense, and, you know, they're very athletic, and, and that gives us trouble. But I think the biggest thing that we can learn out of this is if we execute our systems, we'll have a chance in any game. Just Kyle, what was it like seeing him go off the way he did? You know, I, I guess I didn't expect him to get 39, but I knew that with a couple days practice, he was going to be better than what he was Monday. And certainly he was, and, you know, we just, you know, we kept going back back to him. And, you know, in a game like this, sometimes that's what you have to do. And, you know, we didn't, we didn't uh, abort any of our, our uh, any of our uh, offense, but we just wanted to go to him because he was hot. And, you know, he kind of took over in that first half and then coming down the stretch, he got a little bit tired and was, was settling a bit, but uh, Tommy made some great layups and Tommy made a great pass to AJ to, to, to put us back up in the end there and it was, it was really huge. You know, before the season, you guys were excited again, Jordan, having Tommy come back. And yeah. now you guys finally got kind of healthy. Is this like the show of the potential of the team? I, I think it is. I mean, you know, I, I, Walsh is as good as there's going to be in our league and, and you know, I'm not, I'm not saying we're, we're not going to shoot that well every night, but uh, if we can execute and get high percentage shots, we'll give ourselves a chance. And I think once, you know, I think I, I do agree that those, you know, w what we talked about early in the season, we're going to bank on those, those guys that we just mentioned. Uh, but we still got to get the, the, either the depth portion back up to speed or these guys got to play tired. And I, I prefer the depth portion up to speed. When Carter fouled out, did you feel like the game flipped or that was a chance for you guys to seize control? No, because I was scared to death of Fletcher and, and three. Uh, no, there's way too much. They're, they're way too good. And, you know, unfortunately, sometimes falling out is, is, happens. And, you know, when, it, when, in, when they come back from 15, they're, they, they're in the flow and everybody's there. So it, Zach Carter is a really good player and has hurt us for years. Uh, but I think those other guys were in a pretty good offensive flow in the second half. You know, well, clearly because they scored 40, 44 points. You guys beat Walsh for the first time. That's we beat Walsh for the first time. I was really happy, proud of our guys. And I was happy uh, for, all the, for all the past players because these guys wanted to win it for the, for the, for the past players. And I was, I was really excited about, about hearing that after the game. It was a hard for our win. Uh, they, they can really play. As you, we held them all their average, though. Really excited about that. Um, we played we played pretty good defense, and they still put up 89. That's pretty. Or was it 89? Yeah, they put up they put up quite a few points for how good a defense we thought we were playing. And uh, you know we're lucky. Not lucky, but we're happy to get away get away with this one. That's really important, you know, because if they're doubling Kyle like they were, you know, he had 29 in the first half, and then he only had 10 in the second half, or whatever whatever he had. You know, we have we have to have other guys that can step up and score. Otherwise, you know, we're not going to win because we're not scoring points. Oh, it's huge. We uh. You know, we were two and three, two and four before this. Now we're three and four, and first conference win. That's that's huge. And then at the end of the road, is every win you can get up is uh, important. I definitely think that this could be a big win for us to kind of propel us as we go into the Gleac or Gleac season. I definitely think that opening with a win in conference is huge. We've been banged up these first couple of non-conference games. And I really think that our record doesn't reflect how good we are. I think we definitely showed in spurts tonight that we can be a pretty good team. Uh, I don't think that that was really our mindset, our actual mindset. We were trying to <laughs> initially trying to slow the game down a bit, but it's pretty tough when it seems like all of our shots are falling in the first half to want to slow down when every time down the court I feel like we were putting it in the hoop. I think that's huge for us. I don't, any time that they come with a double, I feel like that's helping our team more than them single covering me inside because it just means we're going to have someone wide open. And I, I trust all of our guys shooting the ball and AJ inside for sure. I just feel like that it kind of shows that we have a lot of depth this year and it could help us make a good run as we get farther into the season. Uh, yeah, we got, it'll be a long, long trip before our finals week. And, 
we just got to really focus on bearing down and getting those two tough wins off or on the road. We can't think that just because it's a long trip and maybe, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of times we underestimate teams when we go in, and I think we did that last year versus Lake Erie a little bit. We got up on them, and then they made a really good run late, and we just got to make sure we stay focused all game.